we have two diapers for our whole trip. Unfortunately, we can't remember where we parked our car in long-term parking. So we went to our friend's house and now we are going to a gym where we are rollerblading and having fun. That was, wait, it's still going. We are playing school and right now we're eating our lunch. <laughs> Today's our last day here in Puerto Rico, and before we head to the airport, we still have a few more things we want to do. We're checking out the supermarket here. I'm loving that they have like a loudspeaker and rock and music going on on the entrance to the supermarket. Yeah. Yeah. Acai <laughs> bowls? Yes. We're just checking out what it's like here in the grocery store. What kind of foods are available? What kind of prices are there? What are these? Really, really big potatoes. I don't know. Florida de Costa Rica. Coconuts? I don't know. Big roots. This is an aguacate. No idea what that is. These are fun flavors. Guanabana and Moro. Like to introduce Laura and Brittany and they will sing the ABCs. Well, for the most part, it looks like a normal grocery store, and so knowing that we have access to this while we're here is pretty important. Normal, under our terms. All over the world, there's different kinds of grocery stores, but this one seems similar to what we're accustomed to. There we go. So this little girl is super cranky today. We have confirmed a tooth. It hasn't broken through yet, so we're pretty sure the crankiness is related to teething. So we're at a light that doesn't work. And we have to go straight. There's a car coming, Jeremy, stop. <laughs> My goodness. Yeah, I'm gonna just go through. You have to go. There's no light, there's no... You did great. I just, that was a little bit nerve wracking. It is scary. We're only turning right everywhere we ever go again. So, the lights make it so my hair is now pink. Yeah. <laughs> Go! The acai bowl, really good. Uh, I could eat that all the time. We can move here. I found an acai bowl I can eat. So as I'm driving through the neighborhood, I'm Marco Poloing so that I can share this with Isaac and Elise and our family that's far from us so they can see kind of the places that we're thinking about ending up. There it is. I can't see. You can't see it, Cubby? It's Caleb right Paulina. there. But Caleb, you can. Oh look, it's going. Oh, it's going. Check it out. That's so fun. That was an iguana. That's just awesome. the whole trip we were so busy house hunting that we didn't really get to experience a lot of the fun of Puerto Rico I'm kind of sad about that 
And yet, if you're going to buy a house somewhere, you have to really go through the process and look at things and be educated on it all, so. So the police cars and the ambulances that we've seen here have their lights flashing, but you don't hear any sirens. Like, they don't seem to turn sirens on, which is just different for us. They're entertaining each other at the moment. Yay! How are you feeling about flying home? Sad. Why are you feeling sad? She's feeling sad about flying home because she doesn't want to fly. It's a doggy. She's so adorable. You are friendly. Okay, so I made a fatal error on this trip. I cannot believe it. Um, when I was packing last night, I forgot to put more diapers in the diaper bag. Like, I got the diaper bag all the way ready to go, but I forgot diapers. So luckily, we always keep a spare diaper in Jeremy's laptop bag, and there's a spare diaper in Janae's little carry-on bag. So we have two diapers for our whole trip. Eight hours to go. <laughs> this might get messy. Hopefully it doesn't get poopy. <laughs> Parenting pro tip for traveling with kids. Wait till everyone's on the plane before you get on. The kids have to sit like 20 to 30 minutes less. This little person has to stay still for several hours with this little person. My friend just sent me a video. She's got all the kids loaded up, taking them some more fun. I wish I could be there. Do you miss them? We'll see them soon. So we only had 10 minutes in between getting off our flight and hopping on the next one. So I found the yummiest spot for a quick dinner. Apparently it's like 43 degrees and raining in Kansas City. Not quite like Puerto Rico. A little different. Put your jacket on. Oh no. When we get there. One diaper left. You can do it. Until we get to our luggage that has, you know, more diapers. Kansas City. Yep. We made it. The second flight was much better than the first. It was also much shorter. But we're gonna get our baggage and get home. It feels good to be here. Unfortunately, we can't remember where we parked our car in long-term parking. So we're gonna go find that. That's a tired little place. We packed warm clothes in Caleb's backpack for him. And I packed warm clothes so that Nene has her jacket on. I've got my jacket on and he's the only silly one still in shorts. It's cold. It is cold. So Jeremy just went through the old footage on our camera to see if maybe we filmed when we parked our car. We didn't. So this is just like a treasure hunt for our car. With two At kids. In the cold. After all day of travel. Yep. Okay, I think it's that car right there. Let's go see. It's our car. Yay, we found it. It's the end of our journey as we know it. It's the end of the journey. Let's go home. But we have to put the car seats in first. It's the worst. The last and final test. <laughs> Can I do yourself? I'm Jesse. I'm Phoebe. And, and we're, we're from Napier, New Zealand. And this is what we made. A mess. No. J House out. My name is Ella from Seattle, Washington, and I made this squishy. Hey, my name is Zoe. I'm from New Mexico, but I'm currently attending university in Colorado, and I made these paintings. 
J House out. My name is Natalie from Illinois and I made this short video. What's keeping you from going in? There's a giant crab in the door. But then the bigger decision is, do we want to move to Puerto Rico or not? That's another big decision.